Hello. Who came from the <gasps> board? 
might be, you know, good at it. Before I leave, I do want to acknowledge that this has been a year of great change, not only for myself, but for the whole theater community. After December, I walked away from the Denver Post. Uh, shortly thereafter, our sweet theater, Holly Barton, died. And now Mark Collins and the Volodio camera is going over to the dark side to become an actor. <laughs> As if what we really need is one more actor. <laughs> I just want to say that the loss of so many voices at once only proves the essential role of criticism in the artistic process. As uh, the great Steve Wilson himself told me, and I quote, artists find identity and context in critical response to their work. While the artist's job might be to hold the mirror up to nature, it is the media's job to hold the mirror up to the artist. From an artist's point of view, there is nothing, nothing worse than no response at all. That in itself is anti-art. I leave you, though, I think, in good and energetic hands. When you think about it, we still have Lisa Kennedy and Julia Whitman and Adam Goldstein and Doug Longberg and Chris Williamson and Eve Lane. And I think David Cates and Kieran and Craig are creating their own little mini-empire with my eye critic. I, um, I, uh, I would mention them all, but I went to this list with Gloria. You can't believe this. We actually now have 24 writers covering theater just in the Denver Metro area alone. Um, so to quote Swain Lips, I think brighter days are ahead for the whole planet. Um, but the funny thing is, I never got into this to be one of those people. I enjoyed watching your work, but I never even slightly enjoyed sitting in judgment of it. I got into this job with two goals, to work hard and to tell the story. I came from a sports job that was tons of fun, but only activated about half of my brain. And then I met all of you people. You colorful, intelligent, funny, erudite, brave, beautiful people. And you turned on the other half of my brain. You told me stories on stages, and I told your stories on paper. You took me to the Holocaust one night, and to Mark Rosso's studio the next, and to the 1900s invention of the vibrator the next. <laughs> uh, I told readers about the Jewishes and Parkinson's disease, about Karen Slack and her scar, about Martin Moran and his sexual abuse at Kent St. Malo, and about Ed Reinhardt and his struggle back from 62 days in a coma. That's what I love most about this job, not the reviews, it's telling stories. But you can't tell stories without a willing subject. So thank you, all of you, for trusting me with yours. It's been the best 12 years of my life, there's been a time for worse, but I thank you for taking me along for the ride, and I can't wait to see what stories you're going to tell us all next. Thank you very much.